Hello everyone, welcome to Apollo 24-7's YouTube channel. Today we are in Apollo Hospitals, Kolkata in conversation with Dr. Somo Bhattacharya who will talk about anemia. If I'm asked about what causes anemia, first I have to define what is anemia. In males, if the hemoglobin is less than 12 gram percent and in females, if it's less than 11 gram percent, that is the official definition of anemia. And what about the causes of anemia? That is actually a huge topic. The commonest cause of anemia that we see in clinical practice is nutritional anemia. In our country, iron deficiency anemia. They form the bulk of the patients that I see in my clinic. But then again, there can be anemia due to B12 deficiency, folic acid deficiency, anemia due to deficiency of micronutrients like copper, zinc, etc. Then again, if there is a kidney problem or a liver problem, patient can present with anemia. Patients with chronic liver disease or chronic kidney disease both can present with anemias. There can be hereditary anemias like thalassemias, which also form quite a significant number of our patients. There are certain other rare types of anemia, for example, autoimmune hemolytic anemia, where the red cells are broken down by antibodies produced in blood. So when we are confronted with a patient of anemia, a lot of differential diagnosis comes to our mind. Of them, a significant numbers are non-cancerous. So a significant number of the anemia patients that we see are not because of cancers, but due to some other reason. But then again, there are other conditions which are cancerous or precancerous and which can also present with anemia. For example, if someone is suffering from a blood cancer like leukemia, lymphoma, myeloma, they can all present with anemia. If someone is suffering from a precancerous condition, for example, myelofibrosis or myelodysplastic syndrome, they can also present with anemia. If someone is suffering from a disease like rheumatoid arthritis, that again can give rise to anemia, which we call anemia of chronic disease. So just like Lord Krishna had numerous names, we call Ashtottha Shatanam. So the anemia causes are also as myriad as Lord Krishna's names. And our job as hematologist is to find out the cause of the anemia and give its appropriate treatment. Because what happens here is, the moment the patient is diagnosed with anemia, with low hemoglobin, he is given, he or she is given iron tablets. While iron tablets can work in some patients, they don't work in the majority. So it's essential that the anemia is diagnosed properly. And for that reason, you have to come to a specialist, to a hematologist, who will take a proper history, will do a proper clinical examination, then order appropriate tests and based on history, clinical examination and tests, devise a diagnosis. And once the diagnosis is made, then the management of anemia becomes much more simple. For getting any lab tests done from the comfort of your home, download Apollo 24-7 app now.